In this video, we're going to show you how to add and edit listings in the listings platform. There's several ways to go about adding a listing, but today we're going to cover the most common, which is through the My Listings page. To access your My Listing page, you'll want to select Welcome, comma, your name, and then select My Cell slash Lease Listings. What this will do is launch your My Listings page. Once you're there, you'll simply click Add a Listing. The first step to go about adding a listing is to search for the property record that you'd like your listing to be attached to. So I'm just going to go ahead and use our old office building because I know I've got some test listings there. As you begin to type in the address, you should see a drop down menu appear here. You'll simply click the, click the address that's closest um, to your listing address. Once I've done that, I can see it's pulled me um, close to the map to where my uh, property is. I can also see the property over here on the right, and then I can jump into adding a listing. If you don't see the property on the right or you happen to see a question mark um, in your parcel, that means the property record's not yet in the system and you'll need to go about adding that. I'm not going to do that in this video, but if you do need to watch that, we will have an adding and editing property record video available for you. I'm going to go ahead, since I know this is the building I want to add my listing to, and I'll go ahead and hit add a listing. Once I've done that, it takes me to a preview of the property record. I can confirm that this is the property record I want to add my listing to, and then hit create new listing. This is the listing input screen. Some things to keep in mind is as the listing type and the use changes um, on your listing, the uh, fields are going to be different for you. <laughs> um, so keep in mind um, as you toggle between, you know, for lease or for sell, you're going to have different required fields. Uh, some other things to keep in mind as you're filling this in, any little red dot indicates it's a required field, so you'll need to fill that in. I'm just going to kind of jump through filling these in so we can get that submitted. Your listing date, this should be the date um, directly from your listing agreement. And the expiration date should be directly from the listing agreement as well. I'm going to fill in the rest of this information. Another great feature um, that this listing input has uh, that you might notice as we're going through is as I'm moving between the different fields, if I had a question of what information I should plug in there, this little blue box over here on the left is going to update and give me an idea of what should be there. I'm just going to keep scrolling um, down so we can kind of breeze through this a little bit faster. This section, the least information, is where um, we do tend to see the most questions. So in regards to the asking rent, uh, make sure when you're filling this in that you're using uh, the correct formula. So it does default to the dollars per square foot per year. However, you could switch that to the dollars per square foot per month or just the total monthly rent. And you can also choose not to include a rate and instead select negotiable, and that will gray out for you and no longer be required once you've selected that. And then the lease type, uh, depending on what you choose there, the expenses might be required. The commission description is uh, the amount that's going to the outside broker, so whatever that split is, not the total, again, just the amount going to the outside broker. And then um, if there's exclusions to the commission or not, you'll check yes or no there. So you scroll down, you'll see the comments section. You can add additional agents here. Um, the agents that you add will need to be in your same office. If you have an agent at a different office, you can message us on the SEBA staff and we can get them added in for you. Um, and then the last section here is gonna be um, any media you wanna attach to your listing. So you can have flyers, floor plans, and you can add additional links or listing photos. If you'd like to request a change to the prop main property photo, you can request a similar replacement here. That will go to the SEBA staff for review and we can either get that process for you um, or let you know um, maybe that image isn't great for the property, but it's a great listing photo to have. Once you've got all the required fields filled in, you can then hit save. You can see down below that it said that I did not include the commission description, um, so I'll need to go back up to the top, and where that split is is where I'll need to fill it in. You can see it was listed for me down below there, and then it was also indicated by changing that box to red. So now that I've filled that in, I can hit save, and I'm no longer getting that message that I wasn't able to submit the listing, but I do have this note that tells me I'm adding a new listing, and I can either make it available for everybody, so that'll be on the public site, or I can make it available only for SEBA members and my office to see. If you are doing it um, as a private listing, keep in mind that this can impact um, some URLs. So um, if you do choose to mark it as private, 
users won't be able to see it if a or non-users so clients of brokers won't be able to see it if they've been included in hot sheets um, they won't be able to see it if it's been in a list and they won't be able to see it um, lastly on your public profile um, so you'll have access to a public profile that you can share so if you do have listings that are marked as private or maybe all of your listings have been marked as private your public profile won't have any listing information on it so again just keep in mind when you're making this distinction do you really not want it to be viewable by the public and you only want it to be viewable by users when they're logged in, um, then you'll want to click everybody if you do want everyone to be able to see it without being logged in. Once I've hit submit, I can see now that instead of being on the add a listing screen, I'm now in listings. And this is what the edit screen looks like. But I do first want to show you um, how you would go about getting to the editing the listing from the my listings page. So I'm going to click my listings. And that will take me into the My Listings page. I'm going to refresh because uh, sometimes you have to do that at first when you've added a new space in. And so now this is what the My Listings page would look like if I was jumping from that My Sell slash Lease listings. So to access the listing at each property, you don't want to click on the property name, but instead you either want to click Show Number of Space or Spaces, or you want to choose to Expand All. Once I've done that, I can now see my listings at each of the properties and I can choose to edit the listing. Um, I believe this is the one we just made. So I'm going to make some changes on that by hitting edit. Now that I've hit edit, it's taken me into the edit listing screen, very similar to the um, or it's the same page that it took us to as soon as we hit save on our listing. You can see you can change your status here by clicking on that make any changes necessary on to here. Um, the only field that is locked is the commission description. If you do need to make a change to the commission, you will want to send a message to us at the SEBA staff in writing and we'll be able to get that processed for you. And that's the basics on adding or editing a listing. I do want to show you one more button that is available on the edit listing screen. It's not available anywhere else and that's the duplicate. So if you did happen to have several suites at the same um, property available, you can choose to duplicate the roasting rather than making a bunch of individual listings. And what that will do is create a new listing with all the data um, from the listing that you're duplicating, but you can make any appropriate changes that you need to. Maybe it's just the suite or the square footage that's different. So now if I hit duplicate, it's going to take me into the listing input screen. And then I would just want to fill this in like I did on the listing input, but I can make any necessary changes I need to here. Like again, maybe the square footage. So that's the basics on adding and editing listings. Thank you.